Hey everyone, welcome to our first Gundam Fest. I'm so glad you could be here to join us today. Now, normally, we would want to do this as a live stream so we could all hang out and have a great time together. Unfortunately, with the state of the world being what it is, that just wasn't possible this time. So our first Gundam Fest is pre-recorded, but we hope we can all hang out and share our love of all things Gunpla in the near future. My name is Nick Nielsen, and I'm the community manager for our mobile title, Gundam Battle Gunpla Warfare. Now, in addition to GBGW, we'll also be covering our console Gundam games, as well as have special announcements for our animes and toys. So, let's get started. Gundam Battle Gunpla Warfare has its first anniversary just around the corner, and with it comes a huge update. With this update, you'll greatly improve the ways you build and battle within the game. Now, let's look at some of the great features that are coming with our 2.0 anniversary update. First off, you'll be able to awaken all of your parts to six stars. Six star parts will have a base level cap of 90. And in addition, for every level you increase that part's EX skill or part trait, you'll get another level added to their level cap. Now this means that any part at six star rarity with a level 10 EX skill will have a level cap of 99. Now the six star awakening materials will be available in weekly events after the update. In addition, whenever you awaken a part to six stars, you'll open up a sub slot on the part whenever equipping it to a gunpla frame. Now, when you put a part in that sub slot, you'll be able to choose between the main part and the sub part what aspects you want represented on your gunpla. This can include the parameters, the part trait or EX skill, the word tags, or even the part's appearance. That said, due to the cinematic nature of many of our EX skills, the EX skill and appearance are linked when choosing between the main part and some part of your gunpla. After all, it wouldn't make sense for you to be able to do Trans Am Raid if you didn't have a GN drive equipped. With this update, you'll be able to make your coolest, strongest, ultimate gunpla. In addition to being able to upgrade your custom gunpla further, new original gunpla are coming to the game. First off, the protagonist gets a major upgrade from the Artemis satellite cannon to a whole new gunpla. Introducing Gundamarius. In a few months time, Sana will also get an upgrade from the Sonica pool to a whole new mobile suit. Behold, Gundam Valkyria. All this power is exciting, but it's useless if you've got nothing to test your Gunpla's metal against. So new, challenging missions are on the way to run even the most advanced builders through the gauntlet. These levels were designed with our newest updates in mind to make even the most hardened Gunpla builds scramble for every available advantage. You'll need a variety of methods if you're going to complete these challenges. These features are just the tip of the iceberg for what's coming in Gundam Battle Gunpla Warfare version 2.0. Now, the update is only a few short days away, but to sate your appetite for more Gunpla goodness, we've got a brand new trailer showing off all the incredible things in Gundam Battle Gunpla Warfare, so let's have a look. Gundam experience to the next level. Join forces with allies to challenge powerful enemies. Customize to build the ultimate mobile suit. Share your masterpiece with the new AR photo booth. Gundam Battle, Gunpla Warfare, Bigger, Better, Builder. That was pretty fun, right? 
Now, with our anniversary, we've been looking back on the first year that we've had with our incredible community, and our producer, Nina Miasan, has put together some of his thoughts that he'd like for me to read to you in this letter. So let's have a look. Thank you for playing and hopefully enjoying Gundam Battle Gunpla Warfare. I did not expect the game to be loved by so many North American players. Our version 2.0 update, we wanted to focus on features that would enable users to power up their Gunplas both in visuals and parameters as much as they can, as well as new GBGW original mobile suits and stories added so that builders can enjoy the world of Gundam Battle Gunpla Warfare. We're planning many in-app campaigns to show our gratitude to all the builders for playing Gundam Battle Gunpla Warfare. I hope you'd have a lot of fun playing the anniversary of GBGW. We're also planning big feature editions after the 2.0 anniversary update as well, so please look forward to it. Thank you so much for playing Gundam Battle Gunpla Warfare, and I hope you enjoy the new version of the game coming this summer. Thank you so much, Nina Miyasan, for your kind words. Now, I know everyone is excited for the future of Gundam Battle Gunpla Warfare. Now let's look at some of the other great Gundam games that you can play on PlayStation 4. First off is the Universal Century-based arena shooter, Mobile Suit Gundam Battle Operation 2. Let's have a look. Hi everyone, my name's Tommy and I'm part of the marketing team over here at Bandai Namco Entertainment America. And I'm super excited for the chance to talk to you guys today. First and foremost, I know it's been rough staying at home, but I hope you had an opportunity to catch up on all your favorite games. Today, I'll be talking about Mobile Suit Gundam Battle Operation 2, a free to play title on PlayStation 4. For those of you out of the loop, Mobile Suit Gundam Battle Operation 2 or GBO2 is a free to play 6v6 online Gundam game available on PlayStation 4. Featuring various combat modes, be it skirmishing on land or soaring through space, you'll establish your dominance through smart tactical team play. Between capturing objectives and demolishing the enemy team's base, you'll have plenty of options to throw some nuance into your battle plan. Plus, as an ever-evolving live service game, the number of mobile suits to choose from is constantly growing and sitting at over 180 strong, so you're sure to find the mobile suit that's just right for you. Luckily, there's never been a better time to start playing. With the game's second anniversary right around the corner, there's a ton of fun content and awesome gifts waiting for both new and veteran players. To start things off, we'll be running a second anniversary event campaign that will run for a total of five weeks. Every week, you'll get a free 10 pull supply drop, meaning up to 50 free pulls, with each one guaranteed to have at least one three-star mobile suit. In addition to 50 free pulls, we'll have daily sortie bonuses, as well as a limited special mission that will reward you with a Gaza Sea mobile suit when you complete it. We'll also be incentivizing clan play, so be sure to join a clan and take part of the festivities. Last but not least, if it's been a while since you last played, you'll get five times the normal DP, CP, and rank EXP. The party didn't stop there though. You have special gifts coming out each and every week. Listed on screen, there'll be a different gift to claim every week, and the only way to claim it is by playing the game. From free tokens and mobile suits all the way to a brand new operator, don't miss your chance to claim some awesome gifts. And as if that wasn't enough, we're also running special supply drops every single week. These supply drops will have unique offerings inside of them, so be sure to find the one that best fits your needs as you try to find the mobile suit of your dreams. And that's about it. Thank you so much guys for tuning in to Gundam Fest as well as for Mobile Suit Gundam Battle Operation 2. We really appreciate it. We hope to see you guys in game for our second anniversary and we hope you enjoy the rest of the stream. Thanks for the update, Tommy. I'm also excited for Battle Operation 2's second anniversary and can't wait for the celebration to begin on July 21st. Well, that covers it for all of our free to play titles, but we still have a premium title coming with the launch of Mobile Suit Gundam Extreme vs. Maxi Boost On. Let's have a look at it.
super awesome. Now, if you're interested in Mobile Suit Gundam Extreme vs. Maxi Boost On, you can actually try it for free. Every Friday until launch, we'll have pre-release early access for 24 hours. The game launches later this month on July 30th. Those of you who pre-register will get early access to Gundam Barbatos Lupus Rex. In addition, you'll also get Operator Sthesia Awar for the free-to-play title Mobile Suit Gundam Battle Operation 2. You'll also receive an additional 24 hours of pre-release early access. This means you'll have a total of 48 hours to play the game before release. So make sure you reserve your digital copy and visit BandaiNamcoEnt.com to learn more about pre-release early access. Next up, our friend David from Bluefin has the lowdown on everything involving Gundam models and figures. What do you have for us, David? David, tell me what, what's MGEX? Well, it is Master Grade Extreme! Launch of a new brand to commemorate the 40th anniversary of Gunpla. The culmination of technologies and different materials have been combined to ascertain the extreme point of each mobile suit in pursuit of its extreme expression. Master Grade Extreme. Volume 1, RX-0, Unicorn Gundam. In addition to the evolution of the four features of the Master Grade, it has new features installed in pursuit of its extreme point. The extreme point of the Unicorn Gundam is its extreme luminous mechanism. In pursuit of the extreme expression of Psycho Frame, it uses a flexible LED sheet that has both flexibility and strength for a wide range of movement and transformation mechanisms. For the first time as a Unicorn Gundam, it integrates transformation, light emitting, color changing, and mobile functions. The three shield funnels included in the set also emit light. With the dedicated display stand, it is possible to recreate scenes of single and triple combined shields in flight. Extreme attention has been paid to detail. The newly designed transformation mechanism enables intuitive and smooth transformation. Improvements allowing a wider range of movements enable powerful poses to be reproduced. A variety of optional parts are included to reproduce scenes in the play. The structure and design have been revised under the full supervision of Katoki Hajime. The ultimate unicorn Gundam that he strived for has finally been completed. Master Grade Extreme. One one hundredth scale Unicorn Gundam version KA. September 2020 to be released. The evolution of Master Grade continues. I was excited. I, I love anytime there's a new line. And so hearing about this one was amazing. Uh, Xavier, what is the first one going to be? So the first uh, entry into the Master Grade Extreme! 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 We'll get better. <laughs> Extreme line is the Endem Unicorn. Uh, this actually, this first release is a Master Grade Extreme, Extreme! version <laughs> KA. We're getting so worse. Hachime Katoki is also involved in this one. Mm. And then, so, uh, this unicorn has not only perfect transformation, but it has a new LED system that uh, allows it to switch between the red and green modes as seen in the OVA. And it also includes a number of other features, such as the three uh, shields that were used in its awakened mode toward the end of the series. And it comes with a hanger to display the unicorn breaking out from the uh, bottom of the Vis Foundation in the first episode. That's a lot nice. Yeah, I'm pretty excited about it. And then it also has a pretty cool new type of LED too, right? Yeah, yeah. so it color changes. Uh, it goes from uh, red to green. Uh, it also still allows the unicorn to be able to pull a lot of posable uh, action uh, stances as well. Nice. And it also does come with all its original weapons. Wow. It's a lot. <laughs> That's a pretty cool fit. Pretty well, cool it, is, it is extreme. Extreme. So. Extreme. <laughs> AJ. 
Red or green? What color are you going to post it in? Uh, we'll go with the original one with the red. Nice. Red or green? I mean, it's red. Anger. <laughs> Rage. Exactly. Red or green? It's going to alternate between both. So oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like a mood thing. Like, I'm in, an, I'm in a red mode, I'm in a green mode. Yeah. <laughs> red light, green light. <laughs> uh, and do we know when we can expect to start seeing this, this model? This is coming late summer, early fall. Nice. Soon. Soon. <laughs> Soon. Soon. Do we have a price point on it? Yeah, this one will be retailing for 250 uh, US dollars, and it uh, will also have a premium Bandai version that's coming out around the same time with a slightly different uh, package for oh, you box collectors oh, out there. Oh. <laughs> I, I do like boxes. <laughs> awesome. All right. Yeah, make sure you check out the Master Grade Extreme, Extreme uh, later this year. <laughs>
Now last, but certainly not least from our friends and partners, here's an update from Sunrise. えー、皆さんはじめまして、えー。ガンダムビルドダイバーズリライズで、えー、プロデューサーをしております。えー、岡本拓也です、えー。今までですね、えー、私は、えー、機動戦士ガンダム鉄血のオルフェンズで、えー、制作デスクを担当して、えー、前作ガンダムビルドダイバーズで、えー、アシスタントプロデューサーを担当して、えー、本作ガンダムビルドダイバーズリライズでは、えー、プロデューサーを担当しています。えー、前作までのですね、えー、ビルドシリーズとのちょっと比較になってしまうんですけども、えー、今までですね、えー、ガンダムビルドシリーズは宇宙世紀シリーズとはですね、えー、とか、あとそれ以外のシリーズですね、とはちょっと異なっていて、えー、ガンプラモチーフに明るく楽しいですね、えー、ガンプラバトルをですね、えー、描いていきました、えー。ガンプラもストーリーもですね、バラエティ感あふれる、そんなスタイルが、えーまあ、前作までの特徴だったかなというふうに思うんですけども、本作はですね、まあ、一つ一つのエピソードに咲く時間を少し今までより取りまして、まあ、一人一人のキャラクターをですね、まあ、じっくり描いていけるような、まあ、そんなドラマを目指して作っています。えー、今回はですね、まあ、全体を通してまあ一つの物語を描いていくというようなまあ意識づけで作っていて、えー、まあこれまでより緊迫感のある物語をですね、意識しています。えー、シリーズの中でですね、好きなガンプラとその理由ということで、まあ、やはりこれは、この、アースリーガンダムかなと思っています。えー、本作のですね、主人公機として試行錯誤を重ねてできた、この機体なんですけども、えー、非常にやっぱり思い入れが深くてですね、えー、デザイナーの海老川さんも、この商品を作ってくれた、えー、バンダイのホビー事業部さんもですね、えー、の担当の方もたくさん試行錯誤をして、本当に苦労して出来上がった機体なので、えー、完全ひいきですが、あの、この機体が大好きです。あの、こっちにいるコアガンダムはすごく可愛くてですね、あの、なんか、机とかに置いとくとすごい可愛いです。あの、こんな、この子はすごく可愛いんですけど、このアースリーになるとすごいかっこいいんで、あの、皆さんですね、ぜひ買っていただけると嬉しいなと。あの、みんなも遊んでください。ぜひ。よろしくお願いします。そうですね、えー、本作でやはり特徴的なのは、この、えー、プラネッツシステムでしょうか、えー、商品ではですね、コアドッキングカスタムというふうに言ってるんですが、乾燥システムです。えっとまあ、なかなか今までになかったですね、こういう機構なんですけども、あのーまあ、やはりすごく商品化においてはですね、まあ、アニメの中でもそうなんですが、すごく試行錯誤しながらできたものになります。あの、このアースアーマー以外にも、いろんなアーマーがありますし、えー、アルスが乗っている機体もですね、同じような、えー、システムがありますが、えー、このシステムがやはり、えー、このビルドダイバーズリライズの特徴と言えるのかなというふうに思っています。えー、リライズに関わっている中で最も楽しい部分ということで、そうですね、えー。作品を作っていく中で、まあ、いろいろな喜びやですね、楽しみがあるんですけども、やはりですね、えー、まあ、完成した映像をですね、えー、まあ、見たとき、ここに本当にまあ楽しみというか喜びというか、えー、そういうものを感じています、えー。少しずつですね、映像として完成していく様をですね、間近で見ながらですね、その過程で、やはりこうクリエイターの方々のですね、まあ、エネルギーのようなものをですね、えー、すごく感じていまして、えー、最終的に出来上がったフィルムが、当初、自分自身が想像していたものですね、想定していったもの以上のものが出来上がったときにですね、本当にここにか、あのー、喜びと楽しみというか、えー、そういうものが出来上がって過程を見るのもすごく楽しいんですけども、そこに関わりながらですね、えー、一緒に作品を作っていくと、えー、ここにがすごく面白いのかなというふうに思っています。コンシューマーやですね、まあ、アプリゲームもたくさん遊んでるんですけども、まあ、やはり今はですね、ガンダムブレーカーにハマっています。あの、まあ、やはりですね、こう試行錯誤しながら、まあ、自分ガンプラ、俺ガンプラをですね、作って戦えるのはやっぱり素敵だなというふうに思いますし、やはりこれだけこういろんなことをですね、カスタマイズして遊べるなんていうのは本当に素敵だなと思っています。あの、いつもですね、すごく楽しく遊んでいます。
、えー、今までですね、歴史のあるガンダム作品の機体がですね、たくさん出ていて、えー、まさかですね、この GBGW に、えー、自分のですね、えー、関わった作品のですね、期待が出てくるなんていうのは、えー、本当に驚いていますし、本当に、えー、嬉しいことだなと思っています。あの、リライズの期待もですね、えー、たくさん、あのー、収録していただいていて、あのー、私自身も、ゲットすべくですね、頑張っているんですが、残念ながら、まだ、揃えきれていません。えー、頑張って揃えてですね、えー、マイガンプラを作って戦って、楽しみたいなというふうに思っています。えー、ガノンビルドダイバーズリライズの今後ですが、えー、物語はですね、えー、クライマックスに向けて加速していきます。えー、ヒロトたちのですね、えー、行く末をですね、ぜひ、えー、最後まで見守っていただけますと嬉しいなと思っています。あの、まだまだですね、えー、皆さんに喜んでいただけるようなものをですね、仕掛けておりますので、えー、ぜひご期待ください。えー、いつも応援いただいている、ファンの皆様、本当にありがとうございます。えー、皆さんの声はですね、えー、こちら日本に、えー、我々に、え、現場のクリエイターにですね、届いています。えー、皆さんの応援は、え、に、え、我々は本当に、え、勇気づけられていますし、あの、支えられているなというふうに感じます。あの、まだまだですね、え、これから皆さんに、え、喜んでいただけるようなですね、え、作品を作っていければなというふうに思っていますので、え、ぜひ、引き続き、応援をよろしくお願いいたします。そして、ガンダムビルドダイバーズリライズ、楽しみにですね、えー、待っていていただければと思います。ぜひご期待ください。Alright, now this is where we normally like to answer some questions from our community. But since this is a pre recorded video, that's not something we could do this time. So we've done the next best thing. We've reached out to some of your favorite content creators and community leaders some burning questions. And we've asked our producer, Nina Mia san, to answer them. I've got them right here. So let's have a look. YouTuber Zant asks New Xeon is a very different than previous suits and how it's obtained. It's also very powerful. What was your reasoning behind this decision, and are we to expect similar gunpla in the future? Here's the answer. First of all, you can get parts in the game from capsules, events, and quest drops, and so on. On the other hand, we received a lot of requests from users. Saying they want to complete they want complete sets of gunpla or want specific powerful gunpla parts, just the arms, just the legs, etc. Regarding the capsules, there was a problem where you had to be really lucky to get a complete set of a specific gunpla or specific powerful parts. So we changed the method for New Xeon. We're looking at users' feedback and we'll continue to consider how you can get gunpla or gunpla parts. That will make playing GBGW even more enjoyable. So please stay tuned. All right, it looks like this next question is also from Zant. So let's see what it says. The Haro Shop seems like there's a lot of untapped potential for it. What are the plans for the Haro Chip Shop going forward? Here is the producer's answer The concept of the Haro Chip Shop is to offer a place where builders can purchase useful items. If they want to, when they are too busy and can't take enough time to take the steps to get those items otherwise. We are currently selling items available in game at the Haro Chip Shop, but we're also considering items that can only be found at the Haro Chip Shop in the future. We're also considering selling the items that were asked about. Thanks so much, Sand. Let's see what's next. Next,、uh, Mike,、uh, the admin of the New Type Discord channel, asks. Will we see new gameplay or event formats in the future?、Uh, our producer answers absolutely. As for the 2.0 update, after adding the high difficulty missions, there will be new types of quests and missions. We're also planning awesome new features for future updates, so stay tuned. Thanks so much, Mike. Next up,、uh, Jamel, the admin of the Gundam Battle Gunpla Warfare Facebook fan group, asks. Will we see exchange tickets for AI like we do for parts? Our producer answers We're always looking for feedback from our customers, and we take them seriously. We'll definitely consider these comments and we'll continue to work on improving our content, so stay tuned for more GBGW. 
All right, this next one comes from Andrea from the YouTube channel GBGW Time. She asks, what was the idea behind builders training? Let's see what the answer is. We made it with two concepts. First, we wanted to provide the opportunity for users to have fun to enhance a lot of their gunpla parts. Second, in order to bring out the potential of weak gunplas, we were hearing requests from users that they wanted more minor gunplas, such as the Zaku or the AC guy, to be stronger. In response to this request, we aimed to make the parts that were seen as weak at that time, such as, again, Zaku or AC guy, stronger by adding the builder's training. Great. And it looks like we've got one last question. How did they pick which suit to offer for weekly events? Our producer answers, each user has their favorite Gundam series and favorite Gunpla. We try to decide on which suit to offer with an emphasis on two things. First, to make sure there's no bias in their pick of series, and two, to satisfy as many users as possible. We're always having a hard but fun time to come up with the best answer. We will continue to add more new mobile suits and pilots from your favorite Gundam series and also new original mobile suits that you may not have seen before. The new subpart feature that will be added in the 2.0 update will enable everyone to create their powerful and cool gunplas. The variation will allow you to get even more creative and double your fun. Be sure to build and show off your new gunplas. Thanks so much, guys. We really appreciate all of your questions. Well, that was fun, but what's a celebration without gifts? And this time, the gifts are all for you. We here at Gundam Battle Gunpool Warfare have put together some wallpapers that you can use for mobile devices or computers. All you need to do is sign up for our Gundam Games newsletter. Details are in the description below. In addition, we've got some in-game goodies for our free-to-play titles. Our friends at Gundam Battle Operation 2 are excited to provide some additional goodies for Gundam Fest. Please check the link in the description below for how to claim yours. Now, as for Gundam Battle Gunpla Warfare, we'll be providing all players worldwide with three Awakening Circuit Deltas as part of our celebration of Gundam Fest. Make sure to log in and claim yours as soon as possible. We hope you've enjoyed our first Gundam Fest. I'm happy to report that this won't be it though. I'll be making an appearance to talk about Gundam Battle Gunpla Warfare at our Gundam Digital event in August, so stay tuned. In addition, we'd love to have more Gundam Fests in the future so we can all hang out and share our love of all things Gundam and Gunpla. Hopefully as a live stream next time. So please let us know in the comments if this is something you'd like to see and what you'd like to see in future Gundam Fests. Thanks so much for tuning in and happy building.